Listen to what he said to the prophet Ezekiel, okay? And I'm going to read from Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 9. Then those of you who escape will remember me among the nations to which they have be carried captive. How I have been hurt by their adulterous... This is God speaking. Mm. How I have been hurt by their adulterous hearts, which turned away from me, and by their eyes, which played the har harlot after their idols. God is hurt. By our adulterous hearts, when we when we don't trust in his faithfulness, okay? <clears throat> Does a man's lack of trust in God pain him? Sure. It said in Luke 19.41, when he approached Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it. Do you care how Jesus feels, mm. okay? Years ago, um, Alice and I... We were blessed, and it was a miracle that God had provided a place for us to live, as it always is. But we lived in a condominium in, in Orlando that belonged to a brother up in upstate New York, like 1,300 miles away. And um, it, was, it was just an absolute God-given opportunity, because I, I was watching over a couple of other condos that he owned in this big building, and... He gave us a discounted rate on a, an apartment. It was really a blessing. Mm -hmm. But we, quote unquote, live by faith. If you're not living by faith, you're sinning. But that's another story. That's I'm not even sure where that expression comes from. I want to live by faith. Mm -hmm. we all, we're all supposed to live by faith. Mm -hmm. The point is, we didn't have any assets. We didn't have any income at the time. I mean, it was just, you know, we had, I think, I don't think we had even started on social no, security. Yeah. yeah. But somehow God always supplied. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was something would come up. I'd go, somebody would ask me to come preach someplace, and well, we never asked for anything, mm -hmm. the, the money would come in. But it just so happened this one month, and now this is after probably around 2008 or nine, somewhere in there, where the financial crisis had started and the housing market was absolutely collapsing, and particularly in Orlando, which had had such a bustling. So he was really in, as so many people were, in trouble with his property there. And it just so happened this one month it was coming to the end of the month and we didn't have any money. Well, we always had to pray it in. We always had to pray it in. But the, for, for whatever reason, I was really burdened. Right. Yes. And I was burdened because I knew the shape and the condition that this brother was in because of the whole housing market. Yes. And I kept saying, oh, I'm, I'm saying to myself and I guess saying to the Lord, you know, if I don't have the money, what's going to happen to that brother? And the thing is, I didn't have any concern for either myself or for Alice because we have a history. God has always taken care of us. Right. So I wasn't concerned about us regardless of what happened. But I really had a burden for this brother. And I kept saying to the Lord now, I'm saying I'm praying for him. I'm saying, Lord, what happens if I don't have the rent to give him? What's going to happen to him? And I was going on and on and on. I mean, I was just because it really troubled me. And I kept saying this to the Lord. Until I heard a voice, whether it was that still small voice that speaks to my heart. And I heard the voice of the Lord say to me, why are you planning on me to fail? Well, I didn't boom. see it now. Boom. It, was, it was like a smack. I'm telling you, it was like, it was like a shock to my heart mm. because I hadn't perceived it that way. Mm. But that's exactly what it was. Mm. And it hurt my heart. It pained me. Now, it just so happened that at the time, I was doing a weekly uh, internet television show with a brother, uh, now going to be with the Lord, lucky him, hallelujah. Not lucky. Well, bless him, yeah, <laughs> to live as Christ, to die as gain. He was, right. But anyhow, every week we would do a two-hour, every week on Wednesday, we would do a two-hour live video broadcast on the internet. And I went there, and I shared this, and I repented. I mean, I repented of my failure to trust in God's faithfulness. Yes. You can call it my lack of faith because that's exactly the same thing. And when I did, when I repented, it was like 
this this whole burden just lifted from me. Mm-hmm. Well, I still didn't have the money for the rent, but I had no. I had absolutely no concern at that point, either for myself mm-hmm. or for this brother. Right. So at the end of the broadcast, Alice and I had our little fellowship with this with this dear brother, and we got in our car. And I turned the car on, and we started to pull out of the dry, out of the uh, parking lot at this mm-hmm. church. And as I did, my phone rang, my cell phone rang. And we're in Winter, this was in Winter Park, Florida, Central mm-hmm. Florida. And the call was from a woman in Washington, the state of Washington, yeah. in the Pacific Northwest, about as far as you can possibly get from each other and still be in the United States. <laughs> and she said to me, I see that you own this domain name, which is not being used. It was... Because we had been earlier yeah. adopters, and I had them, and I said, "Yeah." And she said, "Would you be interested in selling it?" And I said, "Well, I might be. You know, would you like to make me an offer for it?" And when she offered me exactly the amount that we needed for the rent, I knew something was afoot. <laughs> <laughs> God is faithful. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Whatever you do in your life, come to that place where through the the, the work of the Holy Spirit in you and your trust, did you come to know that with an utter, absolute, and total assurance? assurance. God does indeed watch over his word to perform it. Oh, yes, God is. is faithful. Yes, when you believe that, you are walking in faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And walking in faith will change your life. Come to me, all you with pain. Call on my name I will give you Rest for your soul Let me touch you Make you whole I've seen your suffering Heard what you pray